Hello, and welcome to another YouTube video today on Horn Things. I am Willow, and today's lesson is going to be about double tonguing. So, as you know already, if you play a brass instrument, normally, whenever you play, you're doing kind of a two symbol when you play. Kind of like this. But for double tonguing, which is basically just a faster way of tonguing, because... You can't always just normal tongue when things are too fast. And so that's why double tonguing was made. And it's a combination of your two symbol, but now we're introducing a new one called ku. And it's gonna sound a little bit like this. Now, as you can tell, it sounds kind of silly, but whenever you put it together, it sounds pretty normal. So sometimes there's notes that you can't play as fast as they need to be played with a single tongue. Take, for example, some 16th notes. Now that ending was just with single tonguing, but now let's listen to it with single tonguing. You can play them a little bit faster now. Let's see just how fast we can go. And sometimes there's parts when you just need it for one second. And so you have to switch off and on, and you just got to kind of infer where you want to go. Kind of like William Tell Overture, for example. <laughs> on those fast notes, I used double tonguing. And as you could see, it was pretty helpful, and it sounded better, and you could play it faster. Thank you for listening to my tutorial on double tonguing. Have a great day. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.